Right, so the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has been an unmitigated disaster. From start to finish, it's been announced bloody ages ago. It then was out for a while. The servers were down, so people who paid for you know prior access couldn't even play it. Uh, refund, so Suicide Squad refund searches were up nearly 800%. Then the review embargo lifted, even though the review embargo was after the game's release, right? It was like a week after the game's release. Bizarre, really, really bizarre. Uh, the reviews are terrible, awful, and obviously now people are playing the blame game, right? Uh, there was so much garbage about this game. So, so, so much garbage. I mean, it was an unmitigated disaster from start to finish. It's been a complete failure. Uh, and this is all Rocksteady's fault. And this is modern gaming's fault as well. Uh, through and through, you have been co-opted. I know, using one of your industry terms there. But you've been co-opted by Sweet Baby Inc. A company which should not have any place in the gaming world at all. And as such, of course, the writers of Sweet Baby Inc. Sweet Baby Inc., just for those that don't know, is... And we'll take a look at their background in a minute as well. But just as a quick overview, before we look at the writers' you know, comments about this, uh, is essentially an activist company that you can employ to come in and fuck your game up. That That is it in a nutshell. They are employed by games companies to advise on your game for diversity, inclusion, equity, all this nonsense that ultimately has led to inferior products and fan backlash. So when I say they're quite literally a company you employ to fuck your game up, that's true. That's true. But of course now the writers are coming out uh, and complaining that people didn't like their game. Yeah, no shit. Take the criticism, mate. I get people come in and say, I didn't like this video and I didn't like what you did here. You know, views indicate what people like and dislike here on the channel. And so I act accordingly and I try and better myself because I want to appeal to a broader demographic. I don't want to appeal to, you know, very, very small people. Not small, small number of people. I want to appeal to a broad market. You've got to take criticism on the head. So let's take a look, shall we, ladies and gents? At this individual, uh, Amy Lee Shaw. Oh, writer, narrative designer, Sweet Baby Ink. So just uh, let's just have a look. We'll, we'll get. Oh, Sweet Baby Ink. Oh, these. Sorry, what? These posts are protected. Why are they protected? Narrative development and design, script writing, consultation, and more. Check out Battle Shapers, Spider Man Two, and Alan Wake Two. Let's have a look at their website, shall we? Again, just as a bit of a background, I think it's important. It is important. So, founded in 2018, Sweet Baby Inc. Weird name as well, guys. Is a narrative development and consultation studio based in Montreal and working around the globe. Our mission is to tell better, more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching the video games industry. We aim to make games more engaging, more fun, and more meaningful and more inclusive for everyone. You, you want to make them more fun by removing the fun. You're awful. Projects. What have they worked on? Because they've got their hands in a lot of pies, by the way, guys. Just so you know. Just so you know. Uh, Sable is an open world exploration game where you're free to go wherever you want to discover who you are. Let me guess. It's an allegory for being trans or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, what else have they done? Oh, Alan Wake 2. Apparently the first one was great. Alan Wake 2 is apparently not that, you know, not that good, apparently. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Some people like that, some people don't. Spider-Man 2. That's actually got a fair amount of flack for, uh, random side missions on helping two gay people get something for gifts to one another or some weird random stuff. Like, weird, weird things. Weird inclusions of trans flags and BLM shite. Uh, yeah, I said it. Fuck off. Uh, and Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, of course, as well. So they're not great, right? These are the people you employ if you don't want to make a profit. 
That's it. Now, obviously, that doesn't, that's not universal. Obviously. Obviously, there's some which make money. But by and large, people are cottoning on to this company and going, hmm, we don't like the uh, cut of their jib. So, interesting. But like I said, they're, melt they're melting down because they can't handle the uh, criticism for uh, for Rocksteady's Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Um, also, important to note, people keep going like, oh, well, you know, the reviews on Steam are good. There's 12.5 thousand players on Steam for Suicide Squad. That's terrible. That's awful. That's so bad, guys. Not only that, what's also important to note with respect to that is Steam has been deleting negative reviews. And a lot of the positives look like bots. So, yeah, not good. The, the, the popularity can be defined by the amount of concurrent players, which is not that many. But anyway, here you have it. So, oh, here we go. Melting down. Because here's IGN. IGN was refused a review copy. It says, a lot of fans are, ho are hopping mad about Batman's role in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And rightly so. Here's why Kevin Conroy's Batman is wasted in the game. Um, just if you didn't know, uh, Harley Quinn, a character that Batman had previously bitch slapped into oblivion in the Arkham universe. It's the same Arkham. Uh, same mark on Batman. Uh, now, Harley Quinn shoots Batman in the face on a park bench, killing him. Which which is a waste. That absolutely is a waste. Um, they all piss on the Flash when he dies. Given Ezra, Ezra Miller's involvement in the Flash. Don't really hate that one. Um, when Green Lantern dies, they expose his underwear... And they mock them because they're Green Lantern underwear. Uh, but when Wonder Woman dies, they they all cry. Because Wonder Woman wasn't turned evil. And uh, almost killed Superman in this game. Do you see how it's pretty obvious and blatant, the agenda that's at hand here? I do. Do you? I hope so. So yes, Batman was wasted. Uh, and here she goes, bitching and moaning. Uh, Kevin was our teammate. And many of us worked with him directly for years. I... Well, yeah, because you worked, you you were at Rocksteady, so you should know. You should know better. Uh, I would expect games journalists to know that, and well, no, they do know that, but they're saying how he's wasted in the game, idiot. And understand how callous it is to use his memory to stoke hatred. We do not need strangers to tell us what he would have thought. He told us himself. Convenient, yet yeah, conveniently, you've not quoted him on anything. And also, just as an FYI, no one's telling you that he thought that. We're telling you what we think. And we think it's disrespectful. We think it's dog shit. We think it's a waste. Being the fact that we're the ones that can make or break your company, you should probably listen to us. Probably. Because the consumer does have a tendency to be correct when you want to earn money. When the majority are telling you something. Some, something should ring true there in your brain. Like, hmm, yes, hmm, 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 hmm. Yes, should probably fix that. Hmm. You morons. Idiots. But anyway, what else? Okay, just look at her. Just tweeting all this nonsense. Names so nice, they said it twice. Yeah. Not really basking in that glory now, though, are you, love? Not really basking in the glory now when people are saying, yeah, this is dog shit, actually. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, you're not, and just the stuff she tweets about is horrendous. You're retweeting Owen. I mean, what are you doing? All of this stuff. Awful. Anyway, she's a plum. Sweet Baby Ink is ridiculous. Uh, and, yeah, this is this is the usual thing. She, her, yeah, of course. Of course, is that is that to tell you what you are? What? Stop it! It's nonsense. Anyway, I, it automatically disregard people that have pronouns in their bios. You are ideologically indoctrinated. You lack all critical thought. You're just towing lines, and you're not intelligent by any stretch of the imagination. I hate it so very much, to the bottom of my core. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye bye now.